Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an HP Chromebook 11, which is an 11-inch laptop, runs Google's Chrome operating system, resumes from sleep almost instantly, boots pretty quickly, and basically has a uh, browser-based operating system that lets you run a whole bunch of different apps. I've been testing it for the last couple of days and using just sort of the software that came with it out of the box, but I wanted to show how you can also enter a recovery mode and developer mode if you wanted to load other software on it or uh, make other changes. So um, the instructions basically say hit escape, refresh, and the power button at the same time. I believe you might have to do that while powering it up, but that would be escape, refresh, and power. Let's see what happens if we do it while we're actually booted. Well, that might be it. Maybe we don't have to do it from start from scratch. So now it says uh, Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Please insert a recovery USB. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is actually hit Control D to turn off OS uh, verification. And so from here, instead of uh, staying in recovery mode, we're going to go into developer mode. And what it's actually going to do is reboot, uh, wipe all of my data, and change this into a developer device. So basically, you can see here it says starting in 30 seconds. Uh, it's going to go ahead and sort of reformat everything, wipe all the uh, data that I've installed, and I'll have to log in all over again. And um, the good news is, because it's a Chrome OS device, it's not going to require me to reinstall any apps. Basically, anything I installed previously, it'll say, oh, okay, these are the apps and extensions that, uh, that Brad Linder was using, and it'll go ahead and uh, restore them. I wonder if I can dim this. Nope. So, um, let's go ahead and take a look there. So um, once it's finished with this, we'll reboot into a device that is now in developer mode, um, but it'll give me access to, uh, to basically um, um, all the applications and everything that were available previously. Now this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the video and we'll pick up after it's in developer mode so I can show you how that works. And we're back. Now about 10 minutes have passed and it's almost finished preparing developer mode and then it should reboot into Chrome OS. Once that's happened, uh, theoretically it opens up the door to installing custom firmware, uh, Ubuntu, other operating systems, or uh, for developers, uh, uh, accessing a terminal and uh, other basic tricks. So, well not tricks, tools. There we go. Control D lets you sort of skip that instead of having to wait through it and we're booting into Chrome for the first time. And again, it should look just like the normal Chrome environment, but instead of um, sort of casual user mode, we're now in developer mode. So let's go ahead and connect to my home network. Continue. It says it's checking for updates if you can't see that. And now I'm going to sign in with my Google credentials. And let's do that off screen. Actually, I need to grab my phone for two step authentication. All right, so that should be logging us in. And it'll take a couple of moments to download all of the uh, extensions and applications and other things that I have associated with my Google Chrome OS account. But basically, we are up and running. You can see it's already populating with apps. And I can load the web browser. And uh, we're pretty close to where we were before. If there were any files saved on your local storage, uh, they'll be gone, so you want to back those up before entering developer mode. But otherwise, we've basically got a usable system here. Uh, it's being a little bit slow just because, as I said, it's still actually in the process of downloading everything. I just wanted to show you that we are connected to the internet.
Now one thing right away that you can do, which is different in developer mode, is Control alt plus t which should open up a terminal window, which uh, doesn't have your basic <laughs> Linux commands, so I'm not entirely sure what to do with it off the top of my head here, but Control alt t does bring up that terminal window, and we can type help, get a list of commands, you can do ssh, shell, so forth, just do a shell, there we go, so now we've got our basic Linux commands like ls and cd to navigate. So there you go, that's a quick look at entering developer mode. Uh, now that I'm in developer mode, I'm going to go ahead and play around and see if there's anything a little bit more advanced that I can do uh, after making sure that everything is set up so that I can access my Chrome applications the way I'd like to. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, taking a quick look at developer mode on the HP Chromebook 11.